When you scroll, you can have images fixed. Now let's build daily interaction number 36. Hey, what's up everyone? John with WebDev for you and welcome to the daily interaction series where every weekday we build a new interaction or animation in Webflow. Uh, today is going to be a pretty quick one. Uh, we're going to have a fixed image on scroll. So here I have the demo. So as I scroll down, we notice that the image stays fixed and we have a second image that stays fixed as well and a third image. Uh, so in Webflow, this is pretty simple to do. It's literally just checking one option uh, when adding the background image. Uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll get right into it. Uh, so to view more daily interactions and premium content, visit webdevforyou.com. Also, be sure to subscribe below to receive a notification every time there is a new daily interaction. Okay, so here I have a blank Webflow project. And we'll start with the daily interaction class naming convention. So it's D dash the daily interaction number. Uh, so it's 36 today and then the element. So every element on the site will have a D dash 36 in front of it. And this is for consistency purposes. And so that we know we're working with daily interaction number 36. Okay. And the first thing I'll do here is add a section. So I'll add an element. I'll add a section. And I'll give it the class name D-36 section. And for this, I'll give it a height of 100 VH. So it spans the full height of the viewport and it will be the full width as well. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna place the images at the top of, this, of the section. And because each section is one full um, viewport in height, we'll only see one image at a time. So we won't see yeah, two images won't take up the same space in the same uh, in the same section. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. So let's go back into Webflow. And so, yeah, for the section, I'll give it a display setting of flex, uh, set it to vertical, set it to justify start, so the image starts at the top, and align stretch, so the image fills the entire width of the section, which will be the entire width of the viewport. Okay, then I'll add another element. I'll add a div block and I'll give it the class name D-36 image wrapper. Uh, so the background image is gonna go inside of this div block. Uh, so for this, all we need to do is give it a specific height. Uh, you can set it in percentage or in pixels. Uh, for this, I'm gonna give it a height of 400 pixels. So the image will be uh, 400 pixels in height. Um, and now this is where we add the background image and have it set to fixed. So we'll scroll down to background and here where it says, uh, yeah, background will add a background image. So I'll click here, I'll choose an image and I'll choose this image here and I'll set it to cover. So it covers the entire div. Um, then for the position, I'll say center and for tile, I don't need it to be tiled. So I'll select the X here so it's not tiled because uh, we only need one image there. Um, and this is where uh, we either set it to fixed or have it scroll with the rest of the site. Uh, so here where it says fixed, just make sure that this check mark is selected. Um, and that's it. So now it's fixed. Um, it's actually fixed within the entire viewport, but we're only seeing the specific section because um, it's in this particular uh, image wrapper. Um, so yeah, just make sure this check mark is selected to have the image fixed. Um, and that's it. So what I'll do now, so we have some scrolling to the site, is I'll go into the navigator and I'll copy the D-36 section with the image wrapper inside of it. So here I'll hit Command-C to copy, then I'll select the body and I'll paste two more times. So if I scroll, we have three sections and each of them has an image at the top. So if I preview, uh, we notice that the image stays fixed in the background. It is the same image. Um, so we're seeing it three times. So let's add a different image to each image wrapper. So I'll scroll down here to the second image. I'll go into styles and I'll give it a combo class of two to apply individual properties to this image wrapper. Then I'll go down to background, click on the background image here, select replace image, and I'll select another image here. Um, and then I'll do the same for the third image, just select it 
go into the background, select re or first give it a combo class of three uh, to apply individual properties to it. Select the background image, select replace image, and I'll select another image here. Um, and that's it. Just make sure that each image wrapper, the second and third, have a combo class to apply uh, an individual image or a different image to the image wrapper. Uh, so when I preview, looks good. Uh, so the last thing I'll do is add some text inside of each uh, image wrapper. So I'll select the first image wrapper, give it a display setting of flex, uh, select horizontal, uh, justify center, and align center to have it in the center. I'll add an element, I'll add a text block, and I'll give it the class name d-36 image text. Then I'll scroll down to typography, and I'll set it to circular bold, give it the color of white, um, and here I'll double click in the text and I'll just say image one. Um, I'll set the text to something a bit larger, something like uh, 44 and a line height of 50 or maybe 60 there. Uh, for the background, I'll set it to black and I'll add some padding to the text block. So here I'll hold down shift and add about 20 pixels of padding. All right, so there we have the text. I'll hit command C to copy, paste in the second image wrapper and just say image two and the third one, paste in there and say image three. All right, maybe I'll uh, change the line height a bit to something like 50. Yeah, there we go. All right, so yeah, we have image one, it stays fixed, image two, and image three. Um, yeah, and that's all there is to it, to create the fixed image on scroll. Uh, you can add this effect to any background image in a div block to have it stay, have it stay fixed as the user scrolls. All right, looks good. So that is it for daily interaction number 36. I'll go to the demo and looks good. All right, if you have any questions about anything I went over, uh, definitely, no, definitely let me know in the comment section for this video or in the forum section for, uh, for members. Uh, yeah, to view more daily interactions and premium content, visit webdevforyou.com. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next daily interaction.